Now, leaders from Assal counties held a special session to deliberate, deliberate on key challenges facing the region, including climate change, which has adversely affected the livelihoods of millions of residents in the area. During their discussions, the leaders emphasized the necessity of constructing large water dams to harvest rainwater capable of sustaining the communities in the long term. NTV's Yusuf Mahad Abdi has more on this. Three consecutive failed rainy seasons have dealt a severe blow to the economic well-being of pastoralists in Asal counties, causing concern among the area leaders. In an effort to enhance climate resilience, governors from Asal counties, led by Garissa Governor Nadif Jama and the Cabinet Secretary for the East African Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands Rebecca Miano, convened an engagement forum in Garissa County, while also collaborating with partners from the United Nations and UNICEF to develop strategies for mitigating climate change in Asal counties. We want to come up with long-lasting, sustainable proposals on how we can prepare our people in the Asals to cope better in terms of drought and climate change. However, the governors collectively appealed to the national government to make substantial investments in creating water reserves they view this as a long-term solution to address the persistent water scarcity issue and to efficiently harvest rainwater that often goes to waste. What we are now calling for as the current lot of governors is to see action, particularly in terms of harnessing water, harnessing runoff water uh, in our areas, you know, in, in our dry areas, so that we can use those waters uh, you know, for irrigation and for other, other, other requirements, particularly so through dams. Of course, I'm aware that um, our country, our national government, under the president, uh, we are talking about dams. We need those to be hastened for the region. The nomadic lifestyle of pastoralists as they constantly move in search of pasture has led to the emergence of new settlements. This presents a challenge for the government and other well-wishers as targeting these mobile communities become increasingly complex. It really stretches our, our service delivery. We see people moving from settlement where schools and water to a new settlement, which also creates a conflict within the communities. Our appeal to our people and to the national government is that we should discourage new settlement. Leaders emphasize the importance of a unified approach where all stakeholders come together to implement sustainable interventions as opposed to relying solely on relief efforts. Resilience in the Assal counties, it's no secret. It's not rocket science, just add water. If you bring water to the Assal counties in a way that is sustainable and continuous, livestock takes off, agriculture takes off, education takes off, security is assured. The local population is eagerly awaiting to see if this initiative will result in tangible actions or if they will remain in mere workshop discussions. Yusuf Mahat Abdi, NTV, Garissa.